We have a separate course demonstrating what we call the filmic glow technique. In short, you take a piece of footage, duplicate it, blur it, set a blending mode for it, and mix on top of the copy underneath, and then you get a much enhanced version of the original footage. What so happens, you can use the calculations effect to do that with one layer. And when it's one layer, it means you can save an animation preset of it. We also have another course called Adding Lighting Effects in Post, where you take a second layer, blend it on top of the first layer, and again enhance the footage. Again, you can use calculations to do that trick as well. Let me give you a quick overview of both here using calculations. Here I have a simple boardroom scene that I would like to enhance. I'll select it and apply Effect Channel Calculations. What I can do is take a copy of that original layer that I just applied calculations to, set a blending mode, such as overlay, and blend it on top of itself. This creates an enhanced, enriched, more saturated version of the footage. And again, I can go ahead and pick other modes such as screen, add, color dodge to go ahead and create more puffy, blown out versions of it. So it's kind of a nice, cool enhancement that only takes one layer. I'll go back to overlay for now. Now the way calculations works is that it looks at the second source before any effects have been applied to it. You can still put more effects in this chain. For example, if I was to pick effect, blur and sharpen, fast blur, put it before calculations, I'll turn off calculations for now, normally I would just be blurring my image, not repeat edge pixels. But with calculations enabled, it's going to mix the unblurred version of this shot, the original layer, on top of the blurred version of the shot. And this will create an effect very similar to the filmic glow look that we've discussed in another course. It's not exactly the same because it's doing it in the opposite order. It's using a blend mode to mix the unaffected layer on top of the affected layer. The film and glow technique shows using a blend mode to mix the affected layer on top of an unaffected layer. Some modes, this will cause a difference, but in many cases, you can create the same basic look. Now, since Calculations has a pop-up to choose any second layer that you like, you don't need to apply just a copy of itself. For example, this second layer we have is what we'd call a very typical sort of lighting sort of look. Something that has a lot of interesting moving lights. Turn off Solo for now. For this trick, I'll remove the blur since I want to do this to a sharp version of the footage. Pick my lighting layer as my second layer. And now I can go ahead and use blend mode, such as color dodge, overlay, hard light, soft light, to blend in this lighting layer on top of my original shot. And again, I'll use the second layer opacity to decide how strong that lighting layer is. Here's a random preview of this technique using soft light as the blending mode, mix in at 100%, and that's nice animated lighting. And again, we have an entire another course on this technique. So calculations is quite flexible. You can do a lot of stuff inside this plugin without having to go to the toggle modes and select different blending modes, without having to do any sort of blending with different opacities. Do it all right inside the calculations effect. It's very useful for creating these creative effects and very underused too. It's a nice trick to have in your toolbox.